my video to uh, explain how I made my inserts mod to be able to uh, insert the Raiden fader to in the signal path of the Vestax and the tracks to be able to hear it in the inbuilt speaker. Okay, so basically you need two switch in jacks or you can use two jacks, two headphone jacks. And basically what it does is it takes the signal right after the funnel preamp and just before the amp. So basically you're inserting the random fader in between the preamp and the amp. So the funnel preamp of the, the Vestax and the tracks, you can, you can get it at connector eight, connector eight. That's the little red connector right here. Normally it goes to a wire. It goes all the way over there to the, the the line input. By the way, my mod disables the, the line input so you won't be able to use it anymore after. So you just cut this wire that goes to the line input and you connect it to an output jack. And then the signal is supposed to come back to go to the amp and it comes back to connector 9 which is the other little yellow connector right here and you also cut this one and add another jack all right so basically once you cut the cables you're gonna end up with this inside a red a red wire and a white wire uh, I think the the white wire is the the left, yeah, and red is right. Usually, headphones, the 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 left channel is the tip of the of the one eight connector, and the red is the ring. So you just find which one on your connector is the ring and the tip. And, you, and connect it to it. This is a switching jack. It, it's a little more complex. It has uh, five connectors, five contacts. I mean, uh, I'm gonna use this because if you don't, if you don't use a switching jack and connect a wire between the two inserts, you're gonna have to insert like a jumper cable so that the turntable works normally when you're not using your radiance fader. It's a little more complex to use a switching jack, but uh, it's a, it saves you like always uh, having a jumper cable. Okay, so I'm doing it. All right, so the mod is now done. Uh, I really wouldn't recommend this mod f for a beginner because it's, it's simple to do, but you got so little room, it becomes hard to do. I had to relocate this capacitor to the top because or else uh, I wouldn't have enough room I added some some little uh, strip board to the connector to make it easier for me but you don't have to use it as you can see the the, the black wire connects the output of the insert to the input of the amp internally so when you're not connecting a jack the turntable acts as normal. Alright, we're gonna test it. Alright, test. This is the jacks I added. This is the the output from the preamp, and this is the input from the amp. It should be connected inside, so it should act at like normal right now. works all right maybe you can call me all right now let's test with the the radiance fader connect this to the input of the radiance this goes to the output 
of the Ravens. Words. From the internal speaker, now you can use the Ravens fader. Shout out to my boy uh, Mike Brace, DJ Brace. That's his turntable. He was the guinea pig, and uh, he's the one that gave me the idea to try this mod. So shout out to him. Peace. Cheers.